guys and welcome back to our channel if you haven't already done so please remember to subscribe to this channel and give the video a thumbs up so today we're going to be doing um some of the items that i consider the most have items um as a first time mom being that jeremiah is already 10 months i feel like if there's been a lot of um, items or products that maybe I used in the beginning, you know, don't necessarily use anymore, or maybe products that I, to this day, haven't gotten used, um, gotten to use yet because of Jeremiah's age and the phase that he is currently in. So this is kind of going to be like a consolidated thing that it's not only just for um, items that I maybe specifically use on Jeremiah, but things that I um, use as well as a mom. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and by the way, I want to show you guys. This cute little sloth outfit. I got this at Carter's literally like the other day. And this is size 12 months. He's already fitting into size 12 months clothing. I honestly thought that not the shirt but the pants were gonna be too too um long. But look, they actually fit in pretty good. So like I said, let's go ahead and get started. Some of the products that I actually um use throughout um my pregnancy is um, so this is a Doppler. This is basically something that allows you to <laughs> something that allows you to listen to the baby while they are still in the womb. I was very um, I don't want to use the word paranoid, but I did want to. I did find myself constantly wanting to check up on Jeremiah and just making sure everything was fine. So I feel like if this um, product gave me a lot of peace of mind, you know, if I ever felt that he wasn't moving as often as I thought he should, I would just use this. And even then, um, it was nice to kind of have my other family members that couldn't be present with me and my actual ultrasounds to listen to the baby and his heartbeat. And I think it's just, you know, a good item to have. And I ordered this from Amazon. So everything that I have, I'm gonna go ahead and link it. I think most of these things are from Amazon or Bye Bye Baby. This is called Aquasonic and it's basically the transmission gel that you put on your belly so that this can actually work. Um, so that's the first item. These items are as well more for my self care. I wanted to try to avoid stretch marks as much as possible and I did end up getting them um but I feel like if these actually helped a lot in preventing them I guess during like the ending stages of my pregnancy and I have continued to use these products after I gave birth and I'm not lying to you my stomach didn't go back to how I was not saying that I had a flat stomach before but um I definitely didn't have stretch marks before and even though they're still partially visible, they look way better than when I gave birth because within the last month and even after I gave birth, um, because stretch marks, if I'm mistaken, you get them when either you gain weight too fast or you lose weight too fast. So um, I feel like maybe that's what happened. Like, you know, like your stomach goes from being like inflated with a baby inside to just... One of the products that I use is called Bask Intensive Care Treatment. You can order this online and you can also pick it up. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I want to say it goes for um, $50, $40. Don't call me. I'm not even going to say the pricing. I'm just going to um, go ahead and include all the products like I mentioned. Another thing that I used for my belly was this Bio Oil Skincare Oil. So it's supposed to help um, scars, improve stretch marks, and even skin tone. So you can use this in other parts of your body. I even put it in my face sometimes. But typically, I would just apply it in my lower belly, which is where I got most of my um, stretch marks, as well as on the side of my, my butt, like here on my hips. And then the last thing that I would apply, Palmer's Cocoa Butter um, Formula for stretch marks. So these are the three things that I use, kind of like the combo together. And I don't know if maybe one worked more than the other, but um, together they seem to work pretty well. And this day I'm still applying um, these three items. So now moving forward more to already having to do more with Jeremiah. Um, so I've, how I'm, like I've mentioned before in videos, I do breastfeed Jeremiah. Um, with time, it gets a lot better. So if you're a first time mom or, you know, first time breastfeeding mom, in the beginning, it can be a lot, like very difficult. It's very demanding, I think is what it is. And sometimes women don't continue breastfeeding because of the pain that it causes. And, um, in, my, in the beginning, my nipples would actually be not a lot, but um, a little bit. And I feel like if this cream helped in kind of um, 
what's the word numbing i guess it's soothing soup on the nipples so this is called lan sino lanolin cream um i didn't use it for much because um honestly after like the first week or two of breastfeeding that's it i couldn't feel not that i couldn't feel anything after but it didn't hurt as it did in the beginning stages so this is definitely a must do um i also included this make sure you include this in your diaper bag i've actually thought about doing what's in my diaper i'm not in my diaper bag what am i talking about hospital bag i thought about um doing a video for hospital bag but honestly jeremiah's already 10 months so i might as well just wait for the next pregnancy so this here is a bobby pillow this is basically um a pillow that can be used for um numerous different things but what i used it the most for was to breastfeed so the shape of it is like this and you basically wrap it around your abdominal area and then this kind of helps in supporting the baby so that you don't have to constantly be um holding him or her with your arms because they can get pretty heavy especially as they go getting a little bigger it's really good it hasn't gotten flat i love the design it's very very cute and I feel like um, the design that I got is pretty unisex, so I plan to use this um, on my pregnancies as well. Okay. We're gonna go on Harry. Carry him and give him some toys to distract him. This is one of the items, but we'll get to it later. Yep. And I'm trying to do items that maybe people don't necessarily think they're necessary to get, because for example, I'm not gonna include a freaking stroller or a crib as a must-have item, because you know, that's kind of... <laughs> Even then, the crib, that crib literally has been there for 11 months because it was there a, a month before he actually um, was born. We, were had, we already had it set up. And this kid has slept there maybe like um, twice partial through the night. So he still sleeps with Orly and I in the bed. I wanted to mention that we're actually going to be moving our leases up mid to end of September. So we found a new place and we're very excited. So I think that actually when we go ahead and move, we're just going to get rid of the crib because it's just taking up space. And now that I'm working from home, I need to have kind of like a little desk set up. Um, as a designated area where I can, you know, work peacefully. Another item that I wanted to mention that I forgot that it has to do more with me are these nipple pads. These are the reusable ones. I don't remember, but I want to say that the brand is also Lanceno. Yeah. I'll double check and link it below. Um, but yeah, basically, I prefer these over the um, disposable one. One, it's, you know, more environmentally friendly because you're not, you know, disposing of them. And, you know, they, they're actually softer. They were more comforting to my nipples, especially in the beginning when they were very, very sensitive. And um, I actually just got myself two pairs. So whenever I had one in the washer, I'll use the other one. Um, and I can use them again any future pregnancy. So these basically are supposed to help with, you know, if um, you have let down and, you know, you are not able to pump or feed the baby, as well as kind of protecting your nursing bras from any bleeding during the beginning stages of breastfeeding. So I did pump for Jeremiah just because I was supposed to go back to work in December and I didn't want to build a milk stash so that he had milk. For when I went back to work, I actually didn't produce a whole lot of milk. I kind of just produced enough to feed him. So it was kind of difficult to find a way to kind of, you know, have enough milk to store for when I went back to work and still satisfy him. So what I did was I actually was supplementing um, formula once, and it was actually in the night. So since formula is um, actually more heavy, to the stomach than breast milk. I would do it for his feeding before he went to sleep so that that way he would last a longer time throughout the night. And when I would give him the formula, I would pop my milk and store it in bags. And that's how I created my little stash for when I went back to work. And then when I went back to work, I actually um, started using between my Medela and, where is it? A portable pump. I feel like if this is like a super convenient, um, you know, if you were gonna go out somewhere, you know, if you had a party, if you had a um, anything, any occasion or any reason why you would be out and about and you don't want to carry um, the pump per se, um, this is a good alternative. It's very compact and portable friendly. So basically, this is the motor and it's cute. Let's look at it. It's pink. Ooh. 
You don't need no me time. That's you and me time. Okay, so basically it comes with this bottle. You're gonna unscrew the bottle top. This is how it works. You're gonna screw um this part, which is basically the part that latches onto the breast. Screw that on top. And you put the motor on top, you put it on your breast, you put um the power button, and it basically starts pumping. You put the level that you want it in. This is done, so this is actually um chargeable, obviously why it's portable, it's not battery powered. And um so once you were done pumping, you can just go ahead, you know, take off the motor. <laughs> You know, put the, the bottle cap back on or if you just wanted to go ahead and put it inside the bag, um, you can do that as well. But yeah, I feel like this is something that was very convenient to put inside the diaper bag. Whenever I was on the go, if I knew that um, we we're going to be out for a long time where I wasn't going to be able to breastfeed him or whatever reason, this was very convenient. And I actually included this in my baby shower registry. Another thing that I want to include, that's, I feel like most of this has to do with the breast milk when we're done. My best friend actually got me this. Um, she did get it from Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, but just in case, the name is Keith Cole. And this basically is like a poncho that you put on top of yourself. This is what it looks like. And it actually has a pocket in the front, so if you want to put like your phone or whatever, very convenient. Um, so this is a poncho that you put on covers you all around and basically essentially it kind of looks like that thing that you put on when you're gonna go here in the salon it's supposed to be so that you can breastfeed the baby and nobody sees i feel like if that's very controversial because there's women that you know they want to breastfeed in public and i've done it before but there's sometimes that i'm like eh, you know depending on the location that you are I sometimes have to have this. Another thing that I feel like we use a lot, and it's more now that he's gotten older that we can actually leave him sleeping by himself. Obviously the crib is safer, but since he sleeps in our bed, whenever he takes a nap, I kind of just put him in our bed because he kind of feels whenever I'm putting him down to let him go, he would wake up in the crib. So what I do in the bed is that I actually lay down with him and like slow, little by little, I start taking off my arm and kind of just roll away. So as you can see here, I have my baby monitor. Sometimes it doesn't get a good view depending on where I lay him out in the bed. Um, if anything, I'll just, you know, get that, put it next to him. And it basically, this has no battery and I actually lost the, the charger. So yeah. You can't really see. But basically, you know, it, it gets a good side screen to see um, Jeremiah. Um, it has the night shift so that if it's too dark, you know, you can still see him black and white. And the volume in it is pretty good as well as you have the feature to talk, like press a button and talk and he'll be able to hear you. Definitely, because I feel like if sometimes me, uh, if I'm by myself, this Orly has to work or if I'm cooking or if I'm cleaning or if I'm working or anything like that, um, I can just leave Jeremiah on the bed and I have the peace of mind of the mod the baby monitor to keep over him and you know whenever he starts crying i instantly know okay let me go to the room and pick him up so that's very very important um another thing that i think is a must have is a portable bottle warmer um although i haven't used it that much because jeremiah is with me all the time um i did order this portable bot um bottle warmer so it's rechargeable it's basically one of like it looks like an android almost on usb and so you go ahead and charge it and basically screw on the bottle and you power it on to whatever temperature you want in celsius that's the only thing um they actually have a newer edition which i would want it's bigger and it's supposed to actually warm up the milk faster than this one i got this actually specifically for a trip that i went with um jeremiah to san francisco for work and i did bring him along with my mom because i didn't feel comfortable enough to leave him just with Ori for an entire it was five days four days i don't remember um, but yeah, and it also, um, if you go on the website, so this is called Baby Brew, and it comes in this cute little packaging, um, and it also has, let me show you, just go ahead and actually store the formula in here, and this basically has a button in the bottom, and every time you press it, um, it's supposed to be equivalent to one scoop of formula. So you can go ahead and add it in the bottle right after you finish warming up the water. So this is very cool. 
um, definitely recommend to you, for you to have um, handy at all times. Another thing that I think is super important, not super important, but if you can find this and get it, it's going to be like a lifesaver. This is called um, Bumble and it's basically a changing pad and it's not like the regular changing pads that kind of are cloth material. You know, they come sometimes, you know, it's cute to get them because you can find the ones that are matching with the crib that has like the same design. But let's be honest, this is basically supposed to be used for, you know, the baby doesn't dirty any other of your surfaces full of poop or you know pee or anything like that so i like this because of the material it's kind of like a, a foam so it's very easy that you know if i'm changing him and for whatever reason a little bit of poop gets on this it's super easy to just wipe down you know keep clean and again i got this neutral color in gray so use your children so now jeremiah is 10 months he's been teething for a while i want to say he got he got his bottom two teeth when he was like six months I don't remember that well. But um, he just been teething a lot and he liked obviously chewing on stuff, especially cold stuff. So I got him this, this newbie teeter that has three rings and I basically just plop it in the freezer and he nibbles on it for a while until it defrosts and it definitely helps him calm his, the irritation of his gums. And now his two top teeth, well actually only one, I only see one. Um, this top teeth is coming out. And he likes chewing on it a lot. So for our baby shower registry, Ori and I did put um, a walker, a Batman walker, super cute. But for some reason, Jeremiah did not know. He did not know how to use it, did not like it. I don't know what it was. Whenever we put him in, he would kind of just bounce. And over time, he knew how to go back. But he didn't really know how to navigate, you know, like walk forward using the walker. Um, Either way, I don't know if this is a new thing or if this is just a, something that our pediatrician told us, but supposedly it's not recommended to have those traditional walkers anymore. They recommend more like the jumpers that stay in place. I guess too many kids were um, getting injured or having accidents using the walkers, you know, if they bumped into a table and they fall on them. So they recommend more the jumper ones. We didn't want to hook up anything into the ceiling here because again, we rent this apartment. So I found this alternative on Target and it looks basically like an old man, like literally an old person walker, but he really likes it and it has like this toy in the front and I'm going to turn it on. It has um, music, sound, and he can basically play with it while he's, um, you know, he can walk, he usually like walks, he'll take a couple of steps, then he'll turn around, like he'll, he'll like crawl on the floor, go around, start playing with it, and then go back up and move and stuff. And he has gotten better at navigating and like turning and because in the beginning when he would crash into a wall, he didn't know what to do anymore. So he kind of just like, okay, whatever, I'm leaving this. I'm leaving, I'm abandoning the ship. So he'll just like crawl away, but he is getting better. And I feel like this has definitely improved his walking skills more than um, the other walker. Okay, another item that I want to talk about is the silicone bibs. So um, as you can see here, it has like a little pocket to catch the food and i feel like this has been a game changer i was like what the hell i wish they had this when you guys were little because honestly half of the time the food that you're trying to feed to the baby like misses or he'll spit it out and this is good to kind of catch and not make as much as a mess even though he makes a mess regardless um i feel like if these have helped a lot i definitely recommend he didn't start using this until he got um a little bit older because in the beginning if you try to put these to them it, it is kind of too heavy for their neck and it's just uncomfortable and it, i feel like it doesn't feel right until they're a little bit older so kind of just Make sure you use them whenever your baby is at the right stage and it fits them comfortably enough. Another item that I actually didn't even think about putting this item on my baby shower registry, honestly, until one of my coworkers, which is a mom, kind of recommended, hey, like, why don't you put this? I use it for my sons and it was like, you know, very helpful, useful. So this is basically a wipe warmer. Yes, a wipe warmer. Um, when I actually first talked to Ori about this, he was like, what the hell? Like, no, my son doesn't need that. Like, he's not a punk. Like, he's gonna be fine getting freaking super cold baby wipes smacked onto his butt whenever he poops. Lie. You feel so bad. It, it makes it feel better for them so that they don't have a cold baby wipe because there's times that we would do that to him. Um, For example, if we were out and about and we didn't have, uh, obviously, a wipe warmer with us readily available, we would use, you know, the room temperature baby wipes and sometimes he would start crying more when he was um sm a smaller baby but now that he's gotten older he's kind of obviously fine if we don't have the 
the warm wipes but definitely i feel like a, this is a nice gesture for your baby if you want to another item that i want to talk about that i used a lot um during the beginning of jeremiah's life is a swing so i have it right over there and i'm also going to go ahead and include a picture right here um one of my friends actually gave this to me and lifesaver this was Jeremiah's favorite thing to sleep in when he was um, a baby. And we ended up finding out like a few weeks later that from our pediatrician that he actually wasn't supposed to sleep in that or be in it for a prolonged period of time. So we definitely stopped putting him as much as we did. We kind of put him down there for his naps. But I feel like if it did help, you know, to soothe and especially the beginning stages of postpartum. I was very tired from, you know, like honestly, I feel like my body was still in pain. It took me about three weeks more or less um, for my bleeding to stop. And sometimes I just wanted to put the baby down and just, you know, relax. And I feel like if um, this was the only way in the beginning to put him down and for him to be soothed because he would feel, you know, the rock and the music and the movement on the swing. So hopefully our next baby likes this as well because we're gonna keep it for him or her. Another thing that I wanted to mention that we use more now, um, we started using it maybe about two months, ago, two three months ago when Jeremiah started crawling. We couldn't or and started moving. We could no longer because back then I would leave him in my bed and he would just stay there in the middle of the pillow. You know, I didn't have to worry about him getting up or anything. But obviously, as he gets older and babies get more active, um, we could no longer do that. So what we got was this playpen, and it wasn't like those traditional pack and plays that people typically get. It's a little bit bigger, and I think it's better because he has more room to play. And now that he's bigger he doesn't necessarily have to outgrow pack a play um and i'm gonna go ahead and show a picture of the playpen that we have here as well and that we got from amazon and we included it in our um baby registry as well i know i feel like if people typically include like um toys or these um teethers or honestly every baby is different jeremiah you have a freaking control or a stock and he'll be having just as much fun playing with that as he would playing like with a, an actual toy because that's just how babies are they're curious they're in the learning stage so i'm not going to really go ahead and include any of that here and i feel like if honestly it, it rotates he doesn't have one um favorite toy for a matter of months it's kind of always rotating like you know he'll play with one for a couple of days and he'll play with another one so that's it if there's anything that i come up with um as he gets older new items that you know we use that i don't necessarily use now i'll definitely make a part two of this video um but yeah that's basically it and i hope you find these items helpful again i'm gonna go ahead and link them down below so these are must have items i'm gonna say for mommy and for baby i hope you guys like this video and find it helpful um if there's anything that you guys can think of feel free to comment below and i'll definitely try them out so thank you again for mine Say bye to the camera. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back with more videos.